Adam's kicking off his footy-themed menu with three loins on a shirt with Jersey Royal potatoes and green beans. Three loins on a shirt? I'd use a plate, I reckon. It's a fair point. I think three loins is pork and I don't actually like pork. Oh, dear. Sorry, mate. I'm assuming that's lamb. Uh, I'm not sure what that means on a shirt. Obviously, in recognition of the three lions on a shirt of the England boys who did so well in the Euros. Adam begins by prepping the pork loins. This is a hearty centre of midfield, centre of defence, the Terry Butcher of dishes. A true, true footballing hero. Terry, I mean the pork, is sizzled, set aside, and he's onto the sauce. In go shallots, garlic, mushrooms, and white wine. Three lines on a shirt. It's obviously going to be a big football do tonight. I hope this is like some sort of like riot in a pub sort of do actually tonight. Like it's got to go off. Come on, back of the net. I can tell that he's a football fan immediately. Goodness gracious. As to what it is, I've got no idea. Having mixed in the cream, it's time for a taste test. And? Oh. <laughs> Mind blowing. Very modest. This dish is going to be the winner. It's going to be bringing the World Cup of pork loin back to Bristol. From where? Having cooked the pork through in the cream sauce, it's dished out with the accompanying veg. Time for the second half. Three loins on a shirt with green beans and Jersey Royals. Please tuck in. Yeah, nice. Very tasty. Thank you. Great. Wasn't expecting pork. I thought it was going to be lamb, but nice surprise. Great, thank you. Glad you're enjoying it. The main was good. For me personally, the sauce is a bit tad too watery. Jay. Yeah, I knew it'd be pork. I'm not a massive pork fan, but actually, yeah, I do like it. I don't like mushrooms, so I will leave those. Yeah. But, yeah, I love it. Oh, Smashed it again. Wonderful. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Perhaps next time I'll do a little less onion. A little less shallot, yeah? A little, yeah, a little less with a well, shallot. That's shallot. <laughs> that's shallot. <laughs> well done. Don't encourage him. I was expecting maybe three different loins. The potatoes, lovely, rather under-seasoned, and I think that the green beans could have done with a bit of butter. Back at the table, Adam's sporty connections are expanding. My link with football doesn't stop there, and that's to do with a certain well-known song, which is often people's favourite curry. Bindaloo. Stop it! I actually work with Keith Allen, Damien Hurst and Alex James to set up a, a company called Turtleneck Records, and we released Vindaloo back in 1994. Well done, Well mate. done. I've literally played that song all summer in my car. <laughs> it's not one of my favourite football songs, to be honest, but it's a fun song, people likes it. Well played to him. Bindaloo! <laughs> Bindaloo! <laughs> I was very surprised to know that he was involved in that song. Um, more so annoyed now because you hear it bloody everywhere. Anyone else around the table got uh, got a claim to fame? I am um, the Glastonbury Festival Dragon Keeper. Tell me more. It's a sculpture that's in the King's Meadow and it's been there since 1994. So a very long time. It's been there a very long time, Jade. Deep breaths, Jade. And it's, it's... I'm sorry. There was no need for that. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so let me get this right. You're the dragon keeper, not the dragon. <laughs> oh, and it begins. And unfortunately, it's one of those for that. I'll take that all day long. Cheers. Mm. Absolutely no regrets, and I'm sure there'll be more to come this week if she keeps being rude. You can't give it out and not expect to take it. I was a bit hurt by Jade being quite so callous when I've gone out of my way not to be mean to her on her night. Have you? I'm still not going to be mean to her just because she's vapid. Let the games begin. Woo! <laughs> you knew it was coming. <laughs> I think both Sarah and Jade equally this evening are sort of on top form with claws out, you know, and I don't quite know where it's come from, but I'm bloody enjoying it. <laughs> Anyone catch Corey last night? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that did get awkward. The laughter that we're seeing is probably nervous laughter, and I think they're finding the situation quite difficult. I, on the other hand, am loving it. 
And now to take things up a notch. Tonight, we're going to show a bit of our competitive edge and we're going to do a little bit of bubble football. <laughs> this is my worst <laughs> nightmare. I'm wearing loafers. Keep calm and carry on, Jack. Aim at the game, run around the cone, and first to score wins. This is so dark. <laughs> <laughs> that was very gentleman of you. The bubble monstrosity I will not be returning to any time soon. Physical exercise and dindins don't go well together, usually. Go for it, Joe! <laughs> <laughs> Adam is very competitive, I reckon. Yes, he is. He'd be like that dad at the football, like, come on, kids! Jade and Sarah next. Is this a good idea? <laughs> Crikey. Yes! I thought that was great fun, but I didn't actually appreciate it being immediately knocked to the ground. I knew as soon as I was put into that little orb, I thought, this is my chance to get you back for last night for saying all those things to me. Everyone's against each other. Go! Go! <laughs> Jade sent Sarah literally into the next door neighbour's field, which worried me briefly, but it was great fun and everyone really got into the spirit of it. Time to debubble, everyone. Pud's on its way. I'm really pleased with the first two courses this evening. They've both gone down really well. If I can bring together the dessert, I'm hoping that this will be an absolute hat trick. 